I'm in downtown Manhattan on West 57th Street, where News 22 got an inside look into the CBS Broadcast Center. When we first arrived at the CBS studios, we were lucky enough to get onto the Up to the Minute set. Up to the Minute is a nationwide news program that provides a particular group of people with their morning news. Meg Oliver, the host of the show, told us just what it took to get where she is today. Uh, I started off as a one-man band in Kalispell, Montana, Market 171, and I did that for about three months, and then we had a big turnover at the station, so then I got um, thrown into the anchor chair, and I was also reporting at the same time. So a typical day would be I would go out and shoot my own packages, maybe get a bow sat and a VO, come back, put all that stuff together and then get ready and produce the, the newscast as well and then anchor the newscast as well on top of that. I knew from the time I was in grade school my grandmother always wanted to go home and watch the six o'clock news and have one of her grandchildren on and um, she kept asking all of my cousins no one wanted to do it. That's a good idea and I, li I like doing stuff like that. So one thing led to another. I looked for a good journalism program and I went to the University of Montana they have this great journalism program, it's all hands-on, and from there I just found my first reporting job. I think the good thing about starting off in small markets, you can be as green as ever and you get all the mistakes out of the way. I think one of the funniest things that happened to me, I was getting ready to go on the air and we did the 6 o'clock news, I worked for an NBC affiliate, and Tom Brokaw was saying goodnight, and the camera went black, and by accident they popped me up in the control room, and I was kidding around with the camera operator and I started to blow kisses and I don't know what I was doing I was goofing off but anyway Tom broke off said goodnight they punched me up I went Mwah. and then up I came and I was like good evening and I was like oh no and then the phone started ringing off the hook and everybody wanted to know who I was blowing kisses to so it was kind of a funny one has been added to the list of emblems of belief allowed in national cemeteries and on government issued headstones of fallen soldiers we're back in two minutes. This is CBS News, up to the minute. An important member to any newscast is the director. We got a chance to speak with the up to the minute director, James McGrath. As a director, my my job in this room, which has been designed specifically for, for two technicians to run, I direct the show, I uh, control the robotic ca cameras, I control the the camera characteristics as far as video and setup. I TD the show by pushing the different sources. I roll tape for the show. I insert fonts, chirons, and I put the over-the-shoulder graphics in. It's a fun job. I still would like to to move on to a daytime show. The shift is the only downside, you know. Working to three or four or five in the morning is, is tough and I've been doing it for 10 years. News 22 got to explore all around the CBS building to see just where everything really happens. From non-linear editing to the newsroom, even getting a glimpse into Katie Couric's office, News 22 definitely had the royal treatment. We've moved uptown now to the GM building where the CBS early show is taped live every morning on the plaza. As weatherman and feature reporter for the CBS Early Show, Dave Price was certainly a crowd pleaser at the plaza. I've been doing this for about a decade, and I spent 10 years before that in corporate America. But I always had a great interest in weather. I always loved the idea of broadcasting. And um, I struggled through the monotony of, of a corporate job for a long time. Uh, it was monotonous to me, and I started doing stand-up comedy. And uh, that taught me to be a, a little sharp on my toes. I got a lucky break, a job offer uh, for a position in a small town in Pennsylvania. I took a huge salary cut and uh, took a big chance, all in the name of doing what I thought I'd love. Why? I'm not a meteorologist, and I, I, I don't claim to be one, but I love the idea of, uh, of the flexibility of being a weathercaster, to do light things and enjoyable things and make people smile for 30 seconds an hour when there's nothing serious going on. When there's something serious, you become a weather journalist. And with the help of a great meteorologist that really produces the weather forecast here at CBS, George Cullen, I'm able to put together what I think is a pretty cohesive uh, broadcast every morning.
Well, we certainly ended our tour of CBS with a bang, meeting weatherman Dave Price from The Early Show. From the Big Apple, Gina Millard, News 22.